if, if you live in yesterday and you're 130 kilos, you look back and you're just going to feel crap about yourself, for me anyway. And then if you look forward and go, how am I going to lose weight? You're going you're gonna to say it's too hard, I can't do it, and you're going to have anxiety and fear and whatever. But if you just live in the day and just say, just for today, I'm just going to eat this. So I think being planned and, and just living just for today. Just for today I'm going to do this and then worry about tomorrow when it comes. Matt Dunning, 45 tests for the Wallabies, over 100 Super Rugby games and featured in two World Cups. He was one of our most decorated props in the 2000s. Despite this, he had critics on his playing weight. In retirement, Matt made a commitment to his health. He went on an incredible weight loss journey. You always be, had, had little bits of growth spurts where you sort of you thin out a bit when you go up and then you catch up with the weight. Yeah, but I, I was always big. You know, my genetics were such that I carried, a, I carried most of my weight on my torso and my face. So even when I was fit, I looked quite um, overweight because I carried a lot on my face. The reality is that, you know, I needed to play at sort of, you know, you know 115 plus. The pro my program said I was 115, but I never weighed 115. I was close to 120, 125. The nature of the role in scrummaging and, and in the breakdown, uh, my weight was sort of necessary. Um, albeit probably could have played a little bit lighter, but that's the way it was. When you finish playing professional sport, there's no reason not to have a, not to have something to eat, not to have something to drink. You know, there's no set time you have to. You know, you can you can be at work at 8 a.m. in the morning and 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 still not be in great nick. You can still do it. Like it's not like it's you got to do. You know, peak performance. You know, you know, it, it, you can sort of get away with sort of just living a sort of a indulgent lifestyle to a certain degree. Although I was sort of 120 at the time, my weight went up to about 132. But in those two years or 18 months, I'd put on a fair bit of weight, and I filled in for one of the local rugby league teams um, in, when I was living in Brow at the time. And uh, oh, the photo of me coming off was was horrendous. Uh, the, the, the quadruple extra large jersey looked like a tattoo, and. Um, it was, uh, yeah, so I sort of said, right, I've got I to lose some weight. When I saw that photo, I saw more than someone who was 130 kilos. So I saw, firstly, someone that had been two years of retirement, if not less, was 130 and looking like that. What was going to happen in three or four more years? You know, you don't see many 160 kilo blokes walking around the streets, and that's for a reason, they don't live that long. So. There was that initially, obviously, um, but I saw someone who wasn't happy and, you know, and eating and drinking way too much. I uh, went on a bit of a journey from them, which is sort of, you know, about seven years ago now, maybe longer, and lost 40 plus kilos in eight months. I do everything at, uh, well, I'm 100% in or, or not, so I do everything like that. I'm a bit obsessive when I do things. And that was crazy, sort of eight months when I lost 40 plus kilos. I, uh, I started that training regime saying I didn't want to exercise, I didn't want to give up drinking, I just wanted to do it purely on diet and it started that way and the weight fell off me. But as I started losing weight um, from eating, eating less was the main thing, I was, just, I was just eating way too much, eating less. The weight started coming off, I said oh I might mind doing a boxing session. So I started training a bit and then lost more and more weight and the next minute I was 86 kilos and uh, there wasn't much to me, uh, very obsessive, you know, weights. 2.30 in the morning and circuit weights and just, yeah, so I went a bit obsessive and so it was a, a funny sort of journey initially. So I met my wife a year after I sort of lost the weight. She's been a big help to sort of get her a bit of balance. She's a bit more, you know, on the keel, you know, a bit more. Uh, so she sort of, sort of spoke to me about, you know, you can't be, you know, not eating for days and then training, you've got to get some balance. And so that's, that's been a big part of it. And that was really good. And I was, uh, it's probably the best, best shape I've ever been in. I was probably about 95 kilos then, a bit heavier than 86, but I was much more balanced and you know, I just felt better in myself and, and really healthy and wasn't starving myself to stay there. I think 95, 93 is probably a, good, a really good spot for me to be in. You know, under 100 is probably great. I do a lot of um, flexibility stuff. The injuries here, the injuries are starting to limit me more and more. I'd love to be able to walk a golf course again. That's probably one of the things that I'd, I'd really like to do, which is sort of not really an option with my ankle at the moment. So at the moment it's a, lot of, you know, a little bit, of, a few dumbbell weights, a little bit of swing, but mainly the stuff I'm really doing a lot of in trying to keep is my stretching, my mobility, and my sort of, my, my core, my transverse core. Weight loss and training, and I think anything in life, 
you know, having the goal, having the plan, that's almost the easy part. And I think what a lot of people do is, is they get too hard on themselves. So you know, whatever you're doing eating wise and training wise, and you miss a couple of days and you, oh, well, it's too hard, oh, I, I don't want to go back and do it. Well, don't worry about it. Just, 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 get, back on, just get back on the horse, you know. It doesn't matter that, what, you know, you had a week off because you went on holidays and you let yourself go. It doesn't matter. Just start again, you know. You know, you don't have to be so hard on yourself and have unrealistic expectations that you're going to start this off and lose 40 kilos. Or you're going to, you know, you just need, for me now, it's not about that. It's about just keeping consistent sessions. A good life is being happy with what you got. The key is to be happy with what you got and enjoy it. And if you're not, do things that make you happy. And, and, and the reality is, for me, um, externals don't make me happy, internals do. Yeah.